Okay, so starting with um, subtraction of fractions, we're going to start with question one, which is four fifths take away six tenths. Going to look at the multiples here, so the denominators of five and ten, which means we're going to be writing the multiples of five and ten to find a common multiple, which then will mean that we can find a common denominator. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, ten, and 20. Now we could go for 20ths, but that would leave us having to simplify even further. So we're not going to do that. We're actually going to go for the tenths as the lowest common denominator is what we're looking for. And in this case, the lowest common multiple is 10. So we're going to take four fifths and to get to tenths, we've got to times it by one, two. So times by two times by two will give us the tenths we're looking for, and it's eight tenths. So this equals eight tenths. And then because six tenths is already tenths, we don't need to do anything to it. So six tenths would remain, so it's six away six tenths. And eight, eight, take away six, gives us two. And then we've still got 10 parts, so it's tenths. <coughs> You may choose to simplify that down um, because if we go down in the two times table, two, four, six, eight, ten, we can see that there are one, two, three, four, five. So we can use fifths and it would be one fifth. Okay, so the next question that we are doing is two thirds take away a half. So we're looking this time at denominators, which are three and two. So we're trying to find a common multiple of three and two. So let's go for three, six, nine, two, four, six. And there we go, we've got that common multiple of six, which means we're going to need to convert both of these into sixths. So two thirds, we want to turn it into a six. So we times it by one, two. And up here we have to do the same, so we end up with four sixths. So I'm going to write that down now. Four over six. And then we have got a half. We need to turn that into sixths as well. One, two, three. So we're times in by three. Times in by three, which gives us three over six. So four over six, subtract three over six. Four, subtract three is one. So therefore it's one over six. Question three is one third, subtract one quarter. So we're looking for multiples of three and four because the denominators are three and four. So I'm going to write those out. Three, six, nine, 12, four, eight, 12. So the common multiple here is the 12. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to need to turn one third into something over 12. And I'm going to need to turn one quarter into something over 12. So I can see I need to multiply the three, one, two, three, four, so times by four, which means I'm times by four here. So I've got four over 12. So four over 12, subtract, let's see, one, two, three. So that's a times by three, that's a times by three. So we've got three over 12. Subtract three over 12, which gives us one twelfth remaining.